Hello everyone, I'm Greg Weaver. Welcome to The Audio Analyst. Bill Parrish, the owner and principal of GTT Audio and Video in Long Valley, New Jersey, shown here in my music room with the astounding AudioNet Pre-G2 line stage and pair of Max Mono blocks, is not only among the most knowledgeable, skilled, and dedicated manufacturers, representatives, and distributors in the United States, I'm happy to be able to call him friend. Though we first met in the early 2000s, when we were both routinely invited to attend the Kabbalah Sosna CES rap parties that Joe Kabbalah and Howard Sosna held at the McCormick and Schmick restaurant in Las Vegas after the show closed on Sunday evening, we really began to develop our connection and friendship when he first introduced me to Kronos Turntables in early 2015. Since that time, I've been to his home and showrooms in New Jersey, and he has been here at the Audio Analyst Central more times than we can count. I've appeared on his YouTube channel many times, as he has on mine. And much like the star of last week's episode, Doug White, Bill never fails to deliver a knockout presentation at shows. Bill was not alone this year at Capital Audio Fest. He had the assistance of the newest member of the GTT Audio team, another good friend and remarkably seasoned, experienced, and engaging veteran, Dick Diamond. Finally, the previously mentioned cable guru and good friend, Joe Kabbala, was also on hand to afford his assistance and support as well. This year, Bill brought the Baby Gia loudspeakers from Lawrence Dickey's amazing Vivid Audio series, the G4 Series 2, and he further treated us to the U.S. premiere of the Mola Mola Perka stereo amplifiers, using them to vertically bi-amplify this smallest, but by no means small sounding, star of the Vivid Gia range of speakers. Here's Bill to describe the system he presented in room 715 during the 12th Capital Audio Fest, and we have included a couple of short track selections from the Blueport Jazz Catalog to give you just a little taste of this engaging, superb system. Let's take a listen. Hello everyone, Bill Parrish from GTT Audio, and welcome inside our room here at Capital Audio Fest 2023. Greg, thank you for giving me the opportunity to give your viewers a walkthrough of our room. When we're at a show, the speakers get the most uh, praise and you know everything's the speakers because they're out there on the stage. So what we'll do is we'll introduce them first. They are the Vivid Audio Gia G4 S2. If you look at the banner, Behind, you'll see that the Gia G4S2 is the lower right. That is the smallest model in the Gia range. Above it, you've got the G3S2, G2S2, and the G1 Spirit. Below it, we've got the entire Kaya line, which consists of four models. So I wanted to introduce that to you. All of the cabling that we're using in this system is Kabbalah Sosna Sensation Cables except for the AES-EBU cable. The AES-EBU cable is, a, uh, is a, an ablation cable. But we've got, we're running two pairs of speaker cables, two sets of interconnects, and some power cords, and then that AES-EBU cable. Behind me, what you can't see, is a Kabbalah Sosna expander. That is a power distribution box. Every one of these components is plugged into the expander. Next are the electronics. The Moa Moa Makua is sitting here on the top shelf. And this Makua actually has a Tambaki deck built into it. So it's the exact same boards, multiple boards, the Moa Moa discrete deck built right into that. And then we're using two Moa Moa Perka stereo amps. Now, they're stereo amps, but we've got two of them. The reason being we're vertically bi-amping. So what we're doing is we're taking the, the left channel of each amplifier and driving the bass on each speaker. The right channel 
of each amplifier and driving the top end on each speaker. And the results have been just phenomenal. This is a U.S. premiere of these amplifiers, uh, of the Moa Moa Perka. We did show a prototype in the back room at Expona, but this is the first real exposure and production pieces that are out there. 150 watts in the 8 ohms per channel, and then they actually have a damping factor greater than 6,000. There's very few amplifiers out there with that type of damping factor. There's no Class D amplifiers with that type of damping factor, and nothing at this price point with this type of damping factor. It's the damping factor grips and controls those woofers. Next, on uh, the middle shelf there, we've got the Grim MU1. That is serving up all the files. It's a Rune Core, and then that's where the AES EBU digital cable is coming from, feeding the Moa Moa Makua and uh, internal DAC. And then down on the bottom shelf, at the very bottom, we've got, a, we've got our NAS. That's where our files are. And sitting on top of it, the white box is the degenerate um, switch X with the linear power supply that has noise sensing and noise canceling uh, technology in it. So we are quieting the noise floor in the system with that significantly. And behind me also, what you cannot see is the Wi-Fi access point. We call it Wi-Fi X and, it, and its linear power supply, which also has noise sensing and noise canceling technology. Greg, I really appreciate the opportunity for you to uh, let me show your viewers the audio system that we brought here at Capital Audio Fest, and I would love for everyone to have a listen. So let's let's play some music.
My sincere thanks to Bill for both showing this exceptionally musical and engaging system at this year's event, and for making the time after hours to produce this video, sharing all this information with us here today. I have to applaud Bill for such a successful premiere showing of the Mola Mola Perka amplifiers and for his inspired application to use them to vertically biamplify the utterly remarkable Vivid Gia G4 Series 2 loudspeakers. If you have any questions about any of the products shown here today, I have added contact information for GTT and the entire system listing with pricing in today's description section. If you were fortunate enough to visit the room during this show, you will be aware of just how captivating this system was. Utterly musical, vibrant, and alive sounding. Something that stood out was the ease and accuracy with which this relatively small loudspeaker could project the proper scale and size of the music under its expression. Keep in mind, this is the entry point of the remarkable Vivid Gia range of loudspeakers, and the extraordinary G4 Series 2 stands just 3 foot 4 inches tall and weighs a scant 56 pounds. Yet its ability to present the entire musical tapestry so faithfully and with such authority is a further nod to its capabilities and the exceptional abilities of the products driving them. As an example, listening to Take 5, the Dave Brubeck classic from Time Out, as reimagined by the Helga Lean Trio on their 2005 Live release, was surprisingly dynamic. Tonality and texture, as exhibited by the reproduction of the sounds of bow on string or the vibrance of the piano, resulted in an utterly authentic presentation, rife with subtle nuances, space, and air. Under the Boardwalk from Ricky Lee Jones's 1983 Girl at Her Volcano EP release proved to be chillingly realistically rendered. Among the standout attributes of this track is how well it presents the depth and space of the soundstage, highlighting the individuality of the backing vocals from Sal Bernardi, Arno Lucas, Michael Ruff, and Leslie Smith. Image, specificity, and size were so well done, not overly emphasizing Victor Feldman's percussion and marimba or Larry Castro's congas, but underscoring their contributions to the drive, pace, and dynamic diversity of this remarkable track. While you couldn't exactly describe this moving and musical system as a budget system, it was considerably more affordable than many of the other rooms I'll be highlighting here from the 2023 Capital Audio Fest. It consistently presented with immediacy, musically relevant resolution, and with such an engaging sense of body and space that you gave no real thought to individual attributes. You were just swept away and allowed to revel in the music as it was being served up. Bravo, Bill. As always, thanks for taking the time to drop by today. Further information on supporting the channel may be found in today's description section or at my website, theaudioanalyst.com. Please stay safe and keep the music playing. Till next time, cheers. <laughs>